A speech on the Baylor campus by a controversial figure went on as planned tonight. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Lindsay Lipman and I'm Joe Gum. Matt Walsh, a conservative contributor of the Daily Wire, stepped onto Baylor's campus to speak. Our Aaron Heff joins us now here in studio and Aaron, the speech has sparked a lot of conversation the last few days, a lot of conversation and a bit of tension as well. Prior to tonight's speech, a petition started on change.org requesting 2,500 signatures was created in hopes of boycotting or even stopping the speech, but that didn't happen. It almost looks like he's attention seeking. I think he's stirring the pot. After mass pushback and a petition donning a couple thousand signatures, Matt Walsh's speech, The War on Reality, Why the Left Has Set Out to Redefine Life, Gender and Marriage, went on as scheduled. Well, you know, he came and he made some really great arguments. He talked about uh, the importance of life, gender, and marriage and the traditional concepts of those things. And, uh, you know, it was a good event. Though this single event is yet a drop in the ocean to the issues LGBTQ advocates believe are underneath the surface. Baylor's sexuality policy, the word homosexuality was in the same sentence as bestiality and incest. So they have come a long way. Baylor University's current student policies and procedures state in part, the university affirms the biblical understanding of sexuality as a gift from God. Temptations to deviate from this norm include both heterosexual sex outside of marriage and homosexual behaviors. Being a queer student at Baylor felt really oppressed. Dr. Ada Road Short is the co-founder of the Baylor Sexual Identity Forum, a group around nearly nine years and still is not recognized. It's not a chartered student group. She said before her time spent on campus. Students had gotten in trouble for being openly gay. Though the chairman of the Baylor Young Americans for Freedom says otherwise. I think that at the end of the day, people say a lot of things, they talk a lot, but people like this are unwilling to actually follow through on their promises. But even now, with the changes made to the policy's language, fear still lingers. They're not okay right now. <laughs> They're really scared right now. They're being targeted by bigots on campus in a way that they previously hadn't. And her message to the university? I just really want them to know that there's scared kids on their campus and they don't feel supported and they don't feel, they don't feel the love of the Baylor campus. They don't feel safe. We put up a poll on our station's Instagram asking whether people thought the university should allow Walsh to speak on campus. Of those who made their voices, 58% said yes, while 42% said they thought the university should not allow it. Now, we have more information in the entire letter asking for decisions like this to be rethought of on our KXXV mobile app. All right, Aaron, thank Something you. Something to think about.